The counter-revolutionary Maidan movement in Ukraine brought to power a right-wing nationalist government. which contains far-right neo-fascist elements. The provocative policies of the new government towards the Russian-speaking population in, in the southeast and Crimea pushed them towards secession. The reactionary capitalist Russian government of Putin took advantage of this to advance its own interests. The Yatsenyuk Turchinov Poroshenko government, with the full support of Washington, London, and Berlin, has pursued a policy of curtailing democratic rights and launched a so-called anti-terrorist operation against its own people in the Donbass, including the bombing and shelling of civilian areas. Fascist and Nazi paramilitary groups, gangs, and private armies funded by individual oligarchs have been incorporated into the state apparatus. and given impunity for their violent activities. Left-wing communist and trade union activists have been attacked, kidnapped, and murdered. Their offices assaulted, looted, and burned down. forcing the organizations underground. This culminated in the Odessa massacre, in which at least 48 people, including members of the Communist Party, Komsomol, and Borotba, were killed at the hands of the fascist paramilitary gangs. A legal assault has been launched against the Communist Party of Ukraine, an organization which received 2.6 million votes in the last parliamentary elections. With the stated aim of banning the party and its symbols. The communist organization Borotba has already been forced underground. After its offices were raided and attempts to kidnap some of the leading activists. And there were attempts to kidnap some of its le their leading activists. The international Marxist tendency expresses its full solidarity with the anti-fascist resistance in Ukraine and pledges to mobilize the widest possible layers of the labor movement and the youth worldwide to defend the democratic rights of those struggling against the Kiev authorities.
At the same time, we firmly believe that a genuine anti-fascist movement can only be built on the basis of proletarian internationalism and must be linked to the struggle against capitalism. The solution for the working people of Ukraine lies not in nationalism, neither Ukrainian nor Russian, which divides them and allows the oligarchs to impose their policies, but rather in the fraternal unity of workers of dif different national groups and speaking different languages. based on the recognition and respect of their cultural and linguistic rights. This means the expropriation of the oligarchs, the restoration of collective, uh, collective ownership and the abolition of capitalism in the Ukraine, which would have a powerful effect on, in Russia itself. Solidarity with the anti-fascist re resistance in Ukraine, down with the NATO, European Union-backed Kiev regime carrying out war on its own people, stop the war in the Donbas. For working class unity firmly based on proletarian internationalism, for the expropriation of the oligarchs and the building of a planned economy under democratic workers' control, for a socialist Ukraine, for a socialist Russia, workers of the world unite. Uh, we should vote it. Delegates in favor, please show. Okay, against? No one against? Abstentions? No abstentions. Uh, visitors in favor, please show. Okay, uh, against? No one against? Abstentions? That's unanimous. So the resolution is carried.